Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we are continuing our run from last time. We're in Vancouver, and we're going to Merritt today in Canada with the Pro Mods Canada map uh, coming out very soon. So let's head up into the truck and get going. Ah, uh, it's a nice rainy start to our day, isn't it? Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and put her into gear and get our wipers on here, lights on, and we're good. So um, I tried to change the time and it made the delivery late. So I might actually, what we're gonna do is when the sun goes down, we'll pull off the side of the road and we'll do that sleep thing again. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Um, and if, it, if the load's late, it's late, I don't care. Uh, but I don't wanna drive this map mod at night, you know? especially with the rain and all that stuff going on here today. So you saw this from last time. Now I did uh, change out uh, and remove the meatball mod for the traffic density. Uh, and then I went ahead and removed the autumn mod because it gave this kind of orange glow to the to everything. And I want to try it without it and see what that's like. But of course, you know, as soon as I got back into here and we lo they loaded the uh, entire uh, load in, we had a nothing but torrential downpour of rain. So we might have this for a little bit. I know the rain probability isn't turned up that high, so we should be okay. We should, we should. Now, I don't know what day this is coming out, so I can't wish you a certain day, but I hope your day is going well. How about that? Hope you are doing good. Yeah, so the traffic is not crazy here at all. And, uh, no ice cream truck convention in town today. How about that? Good on the right. Yep, we're clear. We're gonna get in this lane right here. And we haven't had a, uh, a rainy drive in a while, so... If, and we're in, you know, British Columbia, so, I mean, it's not far off of reality. Not far off at all. Right, and then turn right. All right, keep right and turn right. We will do that. Man, that's a lime green caprice. Wow, man. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. But I'm loving the uh, Canada map so far. I really do like it. It's so crazy to be so far north and just even think about the drive to like New Mexico would just take forever. And that's awesome. That's what I, you know, play America Truck Sim for. For that exact reason. So we're gonna get the uh, default traffic, so it should be scarce. That's the only problem I had with that meatball was not only that the uh, issue of, you know, having the ice cream trucks like crazy and then it's just too much traffic. That's why I like the trans the traffic uh, density mod by CFP. But uh, what are you going to do? Nothing you can do about it. You just got to live with it. All right, let's get on the highway here. Come on, automatic transmission. Do your, do your thing. Shift. Maybe I have to shift for him. Yep. Let off the gas and back to it. It'll do it. Oh, it's this. We got the Iron Workers Memorial Second Narrows Crossing. I think we just stay in this lane. I'm. That's what it's looking like. And yeah, see default traffic. There's not a lot of it. It's the only thing that sucks. There's a truck there. All right, Vancouver. It's been fun, man. We've enjoyed our uh, our stay here, but I'm definitely ready to see the rest of this mod. That's for certain. Slow down for the corners here. We have another bridge or a tunnel, looks like. Yep, another tunnel. Use headlights and tunnel. Well, it's raining, so we have those, we have that covered. Turn our wipers off in here. And here comes the rain again. Right there. That's super realistic, man. That's very realistic. But yeah, I was gonna change out the truck skin and all that stuff, but uh, the Transex and I didn't because that was gonna be a whole to do as well. In fact, I have a stop for the, uh, because I would have to change out the trailer as well. And we would have lost that entire load that we already did. I mean, I know it's just empty pallets, but it is something. All right, let me check out my GPS here because I think we have something screwed up or they want us to exit and we don't want to exit. Something like that. So far, so good. Burnett Avenue. But let me double check that. All right, I double checked it and it was good to go. It was just a matter of, I didn't want to make sure that uh, we were going to the right place. We're going to Merritt, so that works for me. 
It does, it does. Two uh, buses side by side there. All right, now we can see this big Ikea here on the left. Look at that. Big Ikea. We're staying in this lane, so we are on, yep, Highway 1. Or Interstate 1, I don't know what y'all call it, but I'll call it that. The motel over there on the right. An iFlop classic. The Portman Bridge we're going to be crossing here. The name of this town, whatever that means. Not going to try to pronounce that one. Yeah, it's nice to have, you know, light traffic since we had so much last time. So I'm, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, look at this bridge. Nice. Very cool indeed. Come on, old girl. Get up this hill. You can do it. I got faith in you. And the rain should move out. I don't think it's going to stay around too much longer, hopefully. See how that goes. All right, we're going to stay right here. We got USA border and Delta. So 15, all that takes you south into the, the border. There's wineries. Nice. I love how our little route advisor says 56 and now 62 for the, it, it converts the kilometers an hour to miles per hour, which is really cool. Exit 53. And it's so neat. And I gotta say, you know, the choices they had, like it looks like some of the, um, the foliage has uh, got that fall kind of look to it. Oh, it looks like we're stopping up here. Yep, road work. Left lane's ending. You have the HOV lane, and then you have this lane ending as well. Or no, the HOV just shut down. Oh, then they'll be okay. That wasn't too bad. Yep, end of road work. So I figured, you know what? Let's just uh, keep driving this truck and trailer and skin and all that. That way we don't mess up our whole run, and it makes more sense between the two videos. Oh, we're starting to see some mountains. Now, the moment that the winter mod is out for 139, which it probably is by now, um, we're going to install that. Because I am ready to do some winter driving, but I wanted to see this in, you know, all her glory. This is Abbotsford here. There's a big old roundabout up there. So it looks like uh, Canada uses a lot of roundabouts. Trying to get up to speed, man. It's a USA truck. Trying to get up to speed, but it's just taking us a while here. That's a big mountain in front of us there. Mission USA border, yep. There we go. Now finally got up to speed, man. It took us a while. There's a Canadian uh, flag, an American flag there. Very nice. I'm not going to use the cruise control here in the rain. But we'll just uh, cruise along here. Chili whack and hope. Nice. Look at that. We got a uh, armor's field on the right there. All the way to the right. Well, maybe we're going to be in the rain. I don't know, dude. If we get a truck stop, we'll pull off because we're not... I want to go through the mountain range. I want to be able to see everything, you know? That is a big mountain in front of us there, though. That's huge. And traffic is doing kind of weird stuff here and there. Slowing down randomly. It's quite realistic in that regard. Matco Tools. I do love the Jazzy Cat AI traffic mod. That's so good. This brings everything to realism. Long combination vehicle route, pass with care. There's something there. 
Yeah, I'll just keep that engine brake on. We're probably gonna need it. What do we have a rest area up here? Uh, cam loops, your choice. Wow, look at this. Road information and everything for what's open. Man, the detail is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, next exit is the Leaves Freeway. And they don't have us taking it, but we're going to get off here and stop at the gas station and sleep anyway. Because I would rather this rain move out. We get to see the mountains in, you know, it's clarity. Look at that. Experience hope. Oh, that is neat. Keep left, turn left, got it. Turn the jigs off here in a second here. Hey, we got a green light, worked out. That checkered board pattern, that's cool. University of the Fraser Valley. Okay, so there's a truck stop straight ahead. To the right, if we go through downtown Hope, which we're gonna do. There's another gas station straight ahead, but I don't think that's the one we want because I don't know if they're going to have truck parking and all that. Well, we want to see the University of the Fraser Valley anyway, so hope discovered. I heard a train crossing sound or something there. I don't know if this is a truck stop, though. This truck service, so. Discovered a new viewpoint. Check out downtown Hope. All the classic Little Rose Motel. And tons of them. The 7-Eleven. I guess we're going to go to the gas station on the right. So no truck stop, it doesn't look like. Sadly. Keep right and then continue straight on. All right. Yeah, we'll stop at this gas station right here on the right. We'll fuel up. Go straight on. We'll see if we can find a place to park here. Be out of people's way if we just kind of hang to the left here, I think. For the most part let's see actually you know what i don't need fuel how are we on fuel we're like fine on fuel there's another truck there oops um so i'm gonna park right here on the left actually let's do that we'll park up here and we'll uh we'll hang out here and hopefully we'll get a good run in the morning let's let's get up at 9 a.m what do you say and see if uh, the rain's over and all that, which it should be by then. It is the next day. Our customer expects to delivery very soon. Yeah, I know it's going to be late, which is fine. We knew that was going to be the case anyway, but at least we'll get to see something here today. One thing I love is you can roll the windows down. And when you do that, it actually will remove the rain that was on the windshield before. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Just like real life. <laughs> that is so neat. All right. Who's ready to go explore the mountain? I know I am. Or the mountains. Let's do it. We are ready to get out of here. And listen, we just go straight on from here. So it all worked out. But you can see with that uh, mod turned off, we get to see the, you know, the shader actually working. It's butt off. I can't see a damn thing here, man. We're good. You see the shader working, the reshade, and it's beautiful, which is nice. And that's what we want to see. Make sure my trailer doesn't smack that pole, which we should be good. Yep, we're good. Nice. Pull that up. All right, so open, open, open. We're just taking whatever we can here. How about that? That works for me. But yeah, you can see just how much brighter everything looks and the, the shading and the lighting is so good with SSAO and the shadows. It's just gorgeous looking. And uh, I gotta say, I am loving it. And turning off the auto mod, we get more green and natural colors rather than the uh, that filter that, that they put on there. All right. Back on the highway we go. Coca-Cola truck rolling through there. That's the first, uh, the first time I did a uh, map mod in Canada, which was, you know, the, I think it's a Canada dream or something like that. I drove a Coca-Cola truck. Good times. I'm gonna hang out in this lane because we're going slow as hell right now. We're trying to climb this hill. 
We're supposed to be doing 68 miles an hour. There you go. Whatever that name of that place is. Look at those mountains in the distance. Awesome. All right. We're starting to get our mojo going here now. Our speed. Uh, we need to get in the left lane here. So let's get over. Oh my dude, why would you do that? That's how accidents happen in real life right there. Not paying attention. They just came right over into our lane. And we were sitting there, you know, the whole time flashes on and everything did not matter. They did not care. Slow down and move over. Yeah, well, about that. That scared the hell out of me. Too realistic, man. Dude, just, you know, that's one thing in real life, whatever I'm driving in the middle lane or like if I'm in the right lane, and I have to get in the, in the middle lane. I never trust the people in the fast lane. They just, they just come right over into the middle lane. Just like we saw there too real. All right. Let's say enjoy the mountains. Now this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Especially with the reshade. All right, engine brake comes on. We're ready for that. And we should have it on a lower setting, which it should be good. Because here comes the grade. You knew it was coming up. Roll my window down a little bit here so you can listen. There we go. By the way, if you want to check out everything I use, it's always linked in the description below. Rustmaster TSPC Racer. Got my next level racing rig with the uh, motion platform on it. That's why you see my legs move around and get bounced around once in a while. This is a neat pass though. Look at this. Very nice indeed. 120. I won't be hanging there. Severe winter conditions ahead. Reduce speed when those lights are on. Nice. That's one thing I would love to see in America Truck Sim happen is dynamic weather, man. That would be so cool. I mean, we get the rain and stuff like that, but nothing like, the, you know, snowing and all that. I said avoid cruise control, by the way. And look at that mountain up there. That looks beautiful. High mountain road. Expect sudden weather changes. I'll tell you what, man. Props to you, ProBods. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed by it. I am. I am. The mountain pass here on the right. Yep. Wow, man. That's just amazing looking. Absolutely gorgeous. Flashes come on. Get in the right lane here. Keep right, let others pass. Yep, that's what we what we want to do. We want to be nice. Wow, look at that vista there. Come on, girl, you can do it. You can do it. You can get up this hill. I have faith. Oh, we got a bridge up here or a uh, like a tunnel thing. All right, got a quick uh, screenshot there. Look at the bear up there. That is so neat. Wow. I'm going through this pass here. Take it easy. Well, this guy's going super slow, isn't he? I'm going to get in that middle lane here. We're a little faster than him. That'll work out for me. Right on around you, bud. Oh, nice. at Mac Anthem. Very cool. Wow, man, this is neat. Cannot believe. I just can't believe it. Pro mods, you've done it again. We now have Canada and it's beautiful. Boy, this truck is working up this hill right now. I'll tell you that right now. Exit here, we continue on. What is that? 
icon though, that yellow one. There we go, change into the next gear. I don't know what that icon is. Maybe a view viewpoint or something? Or Canadian symbol of some sort? I don't know. Well, we made it up the top of the mountain. I wonder what the, our uh, elevation is. It might tell us. It might. Get in the left lane here. Watch out for an idiot that's going to merge right into us. Come on, old truck. We're still going up, man. We're still going up. It says summit. It said the elevation. We were going too fast. Couldn't read it. Couldn't read it, sadly. But look at this. We're on the other side now. Use our engine brake here a little bit more. There we go. Use the jakes. Because we're exiting up here anyway. Merit. Yep, that's what we want. Keep right and then exit right. Keep right and exit right. You got it. Slower on down with just the the Jake there, and it worked out just fine for us. Rest area to the right. Well, we don't want that. We're going to drop off at Pacific something. I forget the name of the place. Why would he go up there and then make the right turn at the light like that? Albertsons. I don't really understand that one. We're good. Well, that was a neat run, man, through the mountains. Very nice indeed. I've been enjoying myself thoroughly. Yep, keep right. We're going to Merritt. And Merritt is... Logan Lake, Spence's Bridge, Ashcroft. There's a police unit there. Oh, yeah, we're here. We're in Merritt, man. Okay, left turn. Residential area. Yep, they don't want us using engine brakes and stuff. We know that. Okay, we're making a left here Turn left. to go down there. For whatever reason that is, I don't know what the GPS is doing to us here, but I mean, I guess we're going to see downtown Merritt, so it works out. A little small town. The small town of Merritt. Get ready to turn right. We will make a right here. This, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so blown away by this mod, dude, that I'm telling you, it's like an SCS, like state DLC. I mean, you know, obviously that we've seen these assets before, but it's really, really well done. Elevation and all that looks cool there. Yeah, not a lot here. We got a Voltelson Motors there. Get ready to turn right. Get right turn up here. Somebody's Jeep with the doors off it. There's a weird LOD on it. Old truck there. Has a nice uh, small town feel for sure. Okay. Yep. Our drop is right up here. I don't know why they wanted these empty pallets so bad. Must have been hurting. We're out of pallets. We need them now. It's a rush job, but guess what? Not happening. Because we changed the time of day and it didn't like it. But it was worth it. Being late on this run was worth it because we got to see this, uh, the beauty in this in the little town of Merritt. There's a Pete go with the low on. boy there. Go straight on, okay. I don't know why we couldn't just take that road all the way through, but. Okay, this is where we're going here. Where that RV went. 
This is the drop. I've never been here before. I don't think. Sierra Pacific. All right, what we got? Where do you want this thing? We have to go around the whole spot to the left. Dude, I have no idea where we're supposed to go. Uh, maybe around this building. No. Oh, they didn't really tell us any. Oh, it's a it's back there. So is there another entrance that we missed? I think so. Hold on. Let's figure this out. Let's back it up. We're going to go down and around. It looks like it looks like they have another entrance down there. Maybe we needed to go to. I don't know. Let's roll our window down. Well, now we can see. Around to the right. I don't think we can squeeze through there either. I think we're going to go down and then to the right. That's what it looks like to me. Dude, I don't know. No idea. Let's see. This has got to be it up here. And the GPS is just freaking out about this. Nope, doesn't look like it. Maybe there's an entrance on the other side. I don't know. This place is weird. Turning right. Come on, automatic transmission. Do your thing. Okay. Is there an entrance on the right here? Aha, there's something there. That looks more like it. But why would the GPS have us go to the back way when you can't even get in that way? I don't know. There's a palm tree up here. That's that's wrong. <laughs> I don't think there's supposed to be a palm tree where we're at right now. Yep, this is the entrance we needed right here. Well, okay. GPS kind of screwed us up a little bit there, but that's all right. This is the entrance. Oxhill Ranch. All right, cool. So where do you want this stupid thing at? Right there? I don't know. It's all on the left. Dude, this is so strange. This isn't it either. Maybe there's another entrance further down that we have to go to. Oh, well, that kind of screwed us up, didn't it? I guess if I had been here before at this prefab, it would make things a little easier, but I have never been here. And it looks like it's down there somewhere. All right, the blinded around this corner here. Give ourselves enough room. I don't want to hit those things back there. Oh man, we yeah, we got into ourselves with a nice little spot here, didn't we? We're good right there. Okay, well hopefully there's another entrance to the right here. I did not think this would be this difficult. But apparently it's becoming that. It's a good thing we're in a little town. There's like no traffic around for miles. Dude, I don't think there's a entrance over here either. Am I just stupid? I might just be dumb and didn't realize we went, we first went where we went. We're supposed to go there. They want it over here. They want it right there, right there. Okay, so how do you get back there? Oh, around that corner. So you have to go into the dirt, it looks like. All right. Well, this will be fun because we're going to have to back it in from the street, it looks like. I don't know if there's enough room in there to turn around. All right. I turn here and straight on back. Of course, there's a Jeep coming. 
Yeah, we go straight back that way for this drop. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. They want it right back there. So, yeah, we're going to have to blind this around. This is going to be tough. Let's see. Oh, they have room back here. Okay, we'll continue come back. I thought we were going to have to blind around all of this and then just straight back in this way. But it looks like we're going to be okay. That's the spot right there. We get, we could have pulled all the way through up that way, couldn't we have? It looks like. I didn't know this was all room we could actually move around at. That should be enough room to turn around. We just hug this side over here. Yeah, see, we could have just come right around that corner there. We would have been just perfectly fine set up here. Well, now we, uh, you know, now we got to do what we got to do. We made, we made our mistakes. Now we have to just live with them. That should be all right there. Let's go right this way. We should be set up for that. Right where they want this trailer. I mean, kind of. Let's go up this way. Hope we don't get smashed into by that. Those uh, right there. We come all the way up here and then get the trailer straightened out. We'll be in a good spot. Right there. All right. Oh, that truck with the Jake brake. That was awesome. Yeah, right back this way. Well, it's going to be hard to see those lines where they want this trailer in this uh, particular spot. I have no idea. Where is it at? Okay, we're good. That works for me. This is a this is a weird one. This was a weird one, but once we're here, you know, this is one of the newer prefabs I've never been to. I guess had to have been. In case can be a little bit more left. It looks like. Yep, we screwed that up. There. They don't like that, do they? Nope. Let's see. Boy, we really had our work cut out for us on this one, didn't we? Looks like they're going to take it if I just go straight right here. That'll do. Wow. That one was crazy. And as we thought it would be late, and it was, but still, what a cool run that was up into Merit. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.